Well, look who it is. Thank you for coming back. And in today's video, I'd like to talk to you about another USB microphone. And it's from Fifine or Fifine. And the first thing I'd like to do is show you the box. This is actually the front. And on the side, they, sides, they actually give you quite a bit of information on either side. The only thing I didn't like, and it wasn't due to Fifine, it was due to Amazon is how they shipped it. They just slapped a label on it and shipped it in this box. And it's like, really? It's kind of now torn up and looks a little ratty, which some people may not care about, but hey, I do. Okay, um, you do get a few things besides the microphone in the box. You do get a USB cable, where it's USB-A on one side, and, what is that, mini USB on the other, sorry for dropping the cable, and mini USB on the other, and you do get a couple of magnets in the cables, or in this cable, and that's to help reduce any elect electromagnetic noise that might be coming from your computer or laptop, so that's actually pretty nice. They do send you this as well. This is a microphone adapter. This part screws into the bottom of the microphone. And this part can fit on a normal microphone stand right here. Or you get this little brass piece that you screw in. So if you have one of those scissor arms or adjustable boom arms and you want to hang it upside down, that's what the brass piece is for. You stick it in there and away you go. And pretty much that's it. Now this is a cardioid, a stereocardioid microphone. What does cardioid mean? Well, this is the front of the microphone right here. It's going to pick up all the sound from directly in front of it. It'll pick up some sound from the sides, but you should definitely hear a nice reduction in noise from off the side. The back, it kind of rejects a lot of that noise. Really, it really won't pick up any noise from the back. The front of it will pick up if you're talking, as you'll see in the test video. So, it's pretty nice for that. Um, on the bottom is where all the magic happens. Right here on this end is where you're going to plug the cable into. The hole in the center here, that's where you're going to put the adapter on so you can put it on a microphone stand or something of that nature. And right here on the end is the three and a half millimeter headphone jack. And there is no latency with this microphone when you're listening back as you're talking. What that means is it's, uh, you don't have to wait that one or two milliseconds or something to hear your voice. You're going to hear it in real time. So it's really cool that there's no latency in it. And unlike the other Fifine microphone, I tested there's no hiss in this in the headphone jack at all it's a nice crisp and clean the cable they give you is six and a half feet long this is not compatible with the Xbox but it is compatible with the PS4 and it's an all I don't know if you can hear that it's an all uh, metal construction um, I think they call it die-cast zinc construction. And with the two side knobs, you can tighten it or loosen it. It is. You can maneuver it. So, like, if you're just going to use this as your desk stand, you can use it to kind of tilt it. It's also removable. These knobs do unscrew, so you can put it on a microphone stand. And you'll see what this microphone looks like without the stand in the test video. I really like this microphone, um, by far for the money, and by far for all the microphones, USB microphones that I've tested on my channel, this is the best one. I really love the quality of this. The only thing is, is you gotta, like I'm going to tell you in the test video, before you actually use this, make sure you get the, 
the gain control right here, which is the top button. This is the volume control for your headphones. This is the gain control for the microphone. Make sure you adjust that before you actually put this in the application, like for a video or a Zoom call, or if you're vlogging, or if you're going to use it to stream with. Make sure you get that knob dialed in right where you want it. Make sure this is in the place that you want to have it in and adjust, go back and adjust and do whatever you need to do to make sure it's not too quiet or too distorted because you got the volume turned up too loud. Like I said, this is the gain control for the microphone. This is the volume knob for the headphones. And on the front of the microphone, you're going to see this little dot right there. That's an LED light. And this is the mute button. This LED light will be green when it's active. So you can talk into it when it's green. When you press the mute button, that green light turns to red, meaning no sound. It's not picking anything up. And that's it. Do I recommend this microphone, the Thiefine K678 podcaster mic? Yeah, to be honest with you. The Mayana one that I reviewed for you not too long ago is a really great beginning microphone, but if you want something that's a step up above the Mayano USB microphone, this is it. And from all the videos I've seen and podcasts I ever listened to where people were using like the Blue Yeti microphone, I cannot, me personally, I cannot tell the difference. I think this is a great replacement for the Blue Yeti microphone. And, and it costs a heck of a lot less than the Blue Yeti. So yeah, definitely get this microphone. It's definitely worth every penny. I think you're going to like it. Okay, enough of me talking. I know you want to see the test video. So let me shut up right now and kick you over to the test video. What you are hearing now is the Fifine microphone. It's about two and a half feet away from me, a little bit more than arm's length, maybe about two feet, eight inches away from me. But the volume is turned up all the way. What I'm going to do now is turn it to the halfway point, stand back here and let you hear what the microphone is picking up. <laughs> okay. So, I'm back in the same spot, as you can see, arm's length away, but I turned the volume control on the microphone down to 50%, and this is what it sounds like. Now what I'm going to do is turn the volume down on the microphone all the way so you can hear what that will sound like at two and a half feet away from it. Okay, this is it. The microphone is now turned down, the volume knob is turned down all the way, and this is what the microphone is going to sound like at two and a half feet distance from it. Now, as you can see, I have this probably about a good three, three and a half inches away from my mouth with the volume turned down all the way on the microphone. So let me turn it up to the 50% mark. Okay, now I'm the same distance away from the microphone. The volume is now turned up to 50%, and this is what the microphone will sound like. Now I'm going to turn it up all the way. And once again, I am a good couple, three, four inches away from the microphone, and this is what it's going to sound like with this volume turned up all the way. Obviously, this is probably a little too close, for the volume being turned up all the way. Now I put it maybe about a foot away from me now with the volume turned up all the way. In my opinion, this is probably about as far away as you want or as close to you as you want with the volume turned up all the way, about a good foot, maybe a little bit more than that, you know, foot and a couple inches away with the volume turned up all of the way. Now let me turn it back down 
a little bit. Okay, what I'm going to do now, since this is a cardioid type pattern microphone, which means it's picking up all the noise or all the sound from the front of the microphone, it's going to reduce a lot of it on the sides and you really are not going to pick up anything from the back. So I'm, what I'm going to do is continue to talk and I'm just going to slowly turn it to one side, which it is right now. And now I'm going to slowly turn it again until I am at the back of the microphone. And this is what it sounds like. Once again on the side of the microphone. And then once again at the front of the microphone where you should be speaking into. Now this is the other side of the microphone that I'm talking on and you should have heard a little bit of a reduction of volume in my voice. And once again I'm talking in the back of the microphone. Okay, now let's test what's called the proximity effect of the microphone. Usually what that means is the closer to the microphone you get, the deeper or warmer your voice should sound like. So, I'm going to leave the microphone right there so you can see it in camera shot. And now we are going to test, like I said, the proximity effect. I'm a good arm's length away from it. It's about 50% volume. And I'm going to talk as I slowly move a little bit closer to the microphone. And then I'm just going to get within a few fingers width of the microphone. And you be the judge about the proximity effect. Does it actually get a little warmer and deeper as I got closer? Or is there really no difference? Now the last thing I'm going to do. But I am going to turn the microphone completely around. Is as you see this little green light right here that means the microphone is active right here is the mute switch you will see this little light turn red when the mute is on and I'm just gonna keep rambling and then when you press it again the audio comes back now of course this here the top knob is for the volume of the microphone the bottom one is for the headphone and yes there's no latency in the headphone whatsoever when you use it with this microphone and it gets pretty loud too when you turn it up the jack is underneath the uh, microphone and it sounds really well not unlike the other microphone I did for you from uh, Fifine where there was a little bit of a hiss this one has none there's no latency what does latency mean well sometimes like if you're talking and the audio doesn't seem to sync up right with the with the lips either the audio is coming a little bit faster than my mouth is moving or slower than my mouth is moving that's called latency and there is none with this microphone well, I hope this was a really good test for you, our audio test of the Five Fine K678 Podcaster Microphone. And there is one test I did forget to do for you, and that's to actually talk on the top of the microphone. Some people may want to have that so their face isn't blocked by the microphone when they're doing a podcast. The important thing you got to remember though with any type of USB microphone is get it situated wherever you want or however you're going to have it for your videos or vlogging or whatever you're going to be doing including Zoom calls. And then not just adjust this volume but if you have the capability on the computer or software or even camera if it comes out to be that to adjust or adjust the volume control so you're not booming too much so like if you're really up on here it's not going to sound all let me turn this up so it's not going to sound all horrible and nasty if you happen to get this close so 
So remember, do a test, couple test videos first with the, any USB microphone. Not just the Thyfine, but any microphone. Make sure you got that volume level done just right. Well, if you happen to like this video, please give it that thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel. Don't forget about the notification bell. It would really help me out a lot if you were to share this video on all of your social media sites. And until the next video, you, all of your friends, all of your family, and even all your pets, have a great day.